right making tree animations with the armature this is very easy and I like the results of this a lot more than I did from my previous video where I made animations with shape keys okay so you'll definitely need a tree I got my tree here this is one of the old trees I created I think the easiest way to do it is with a pine tree because the armature is the most simple but once you have your mesh maybe you can add some materials I have leaves and a stump then what you want to do is in object mode just press shift A and add a armature and once you do you will have to go to the armature tab on the right here and go to viewport display and say in front okay now you can see your armature press tab to go into edit mode and I want you to um, place the bones in each one of the sections for this tree usually you would place it where you want uh, the tree to bend so if you have a different tree place it in different places you can press Z and go into wireframe mode to see a bit better and then just press E and ex to extrude and uh, just get yourself a nice armature for this tree as I already said it's very easy right once you got that you can press Z and go into solid mode and for animating you'll probably need a bit more uh, topology so I'll go in onto my mesh press tab and then with control R just add loop cuts here where it needs to bend because it will just bend it much nicer uh, this way there we go then you can select the mesh shift right click onto the armature press control P and with automatic weights once you've done that you can go to the armature press control tab to go into the pose mode and now if you move uh, your uh, bones you can see that the tree moves as well this is how we're going to create the animation alright so in a new blender which is 2.8 or 2.9 depends on which one you're using um, you can go to animation tab up here and you'll get uh, everything set up almost everything set up for yourself uh, what I like to do is change it down here from dope sheet to action editor and then go to this action right here on the right and you can rename it to like wind one or something like that I like to go to my frames and here from set the first one to be well the number one and the end one 61 you can set it to anything you want I just like working with 61 uh, you can do 31 91 or whatever you want 121 right so this is where your animation is gonna be I'm just gonna make this window a bit smaller uh, so you guys can see better also you need to go down to keying active keying set and set it to location rotation and scale once you're in pose mode you can just press A to select everything and press I make sure you're on the first frame and also go to the last frame which is for me 61 and press I so now we can make changes in between I'll go to frame 15 maybe move this with R press I to insert the keyframe and maybe take this part and also move it and press I once you've done that you can see that it kinda has a bit of a sway and what I'm going to do I'm going to go to frame maybe 45 and what I'll do is I'll just move it in the opposite direction not too much just a little bit like that and every time you make a change just select the bone and press I now if you play the animation with space you can see that it plays like this now I, I feel like this is a bit too fast so I'll just move it maybe to like 24 for example that's good that's much better also what you can do is maybe rotate some of the some of the bones so maybe go into a random frame I'll go here uh, and press R and Z and then you can rotate it like this and press I now you'll see that the tree also rotates a bit and here I'll rotate on the another side so R Z to rotate on the Z axis press I and now if I play the animation it kinda does that also a possibility is to scale it so if you maybe want it when it sways kind of scales down you can do that press I you can see kind of scales down here we can do the same thing just scale it down and press I with S you know you scale with S now that's not the best tree animation but it will work uh, you can uh, Google something and you know just try and make a better one I think this one's fine now going to object mode select your armature and your mesh, mesh and uh, since you're importing into unity I will press R X minus 90 to rotate on the X axis for minus 90 then I'll press control A all transforms this will just make sure 
that our tree has good rotation for the Unity engine. Once you're done, you can press RX90 to bring, bring it back. Then you can press File, Export, and FBX, and I'll export it to my desktop. I was already making a tree, so I'm just going to override it. You can name it whatever you want, and make sure you click Selected Objects here and just Export. Now, in our Unity project, I want to import my tree to here, so I'll just take it and drag it into Unity. Okay, once you have it, what I like to do always is go to Materials and set this to None, and we'll have to create some new materials for our tree. I'm going to uh, put it in my scene and make sure the position is 0, 0, 0. And now I can create uh, just quickly some materials for it. I'm going to create a green one uh, and drag it onto the, um, well, the green part. And then I can create a brown one and drag it onto the stump or the kind of the base of the tree. And now I can just change the color real quick just so I have something to look at that it's not just white. So for example, that'd be brown and this will be kind of the greenish kind of material I don't know if I applied it if you haven't just drag it again and there you go you have your tree now for the animation part you have to select your tree go to rig set the animation type to generic and set the avatar definition to create from this model and click apply now if you go to your animation tab you'll have this uh, clip right here it is armature wind and if you drag this up right here you can play the animation and you can see how it looks okay I'm just going to drag it down and make sure you have a loop time enabled and click apply once you have that you'll need some kind of an animator controller because if you select your tree you can see that it needs a controller to control the animation so just right click into your project window create animator controller I'm just gonna call this like a tree controller like that and then I'm going to assign it here uh, to my controller in my animator on my tree so just drag it onto there now you can double click to open it and you'll need to put your animation in here the way to do that is uh, if you see your tree FBX here you can click this little arrow and you're gonna have a animation here okay it's a FBX and it looks like a triangle and you can just drag it into here it will automatically set it up for you okay so now if you play the game you can see that it plays the wind animation you can go to the animator and select your animation and you'll you can see the settings here you can change the speed maybe to like 0 0.25 and it will be much slower maybe you want like a little just slow wind or you can change it to like a thousand and you get this you know it's up to you I'ma set mine to like 0 0.5 I think that's fine and it will just keep on playing this animation forever well, that's it you can go follow my patreon uh, my social media uh, watch my streams my discord server and that's it thank you for uh, watching bye bye